I'd say we let the kid do the dishes, and you and I retire to the master bedroom. Hey, Mom, do you think it's a puppy love thing with Jerry, or is he someone that I can look forward to having around for years to come? Honey, this is Sheenie Saunders. She just stopped by to introduce herself. Isn't that neighborly? For Nick, Sheenie was the one. I'm going on a hike. I'd ask you to come along, but you haven't got any hiking boots, maps, or a compass. No, fine, I do all my hiking freeform. I enter the wilderness with nothing more than a childlike sense of wonder. I'm Kyle Smith, film critic for the New York Post. Youth in Revolt is in theaters this week. Michael Sarah, the star of Superbad and co-star of Juno, plays a very frustrated teen virgin with an intellectual streak. Uh, one of the many things he's frustrated by is his sort of white trash mother, played by Jean Smart, and her habit of having uh, kind of wretched boyfriends like uh, Zach Galifianakis. The three of them all go off to a trailer park together, known as Restless Axles, where uh, the Michael Sarah figure, uh, Nick Twisp, falls in love with a pretty girl, and uh, his life is forever changed. Nick? Do you think I could cuddle next to you? Or we could do more than just cuddle. And why don't you pull down these blankets and show me what you're hiding under there? Is that what you want me to do? Say yes. <gasps> What's happened to your clothes, son? Iron S took them. And why don't you have any clothes on? Solidarity. Of course. I really like this movie. Uh, it reminded me a little bit of a Wes Anderson film like Rushmore, only uh, without sort of the sadness, the sort of uh, element of self-pity. It's, it's much lighter than Rushmore, I think. It uh, has, has a lot of sort of uh, quirky, funny, dry wit to it. It has some animated sequences and uh, a lot of the touches you see from uh, a lot of today's hip indie filmmakers uh, who uh, really a lot of them have uh, a lot of originality and uh, some of them can just be twee, I think. This one's much closer uh, to original and refreshing. It also reminded me a bit of Juno in the way it has sort of smart dialogue and, uh, and hip software kids, uh, although I liked it better than I liked Juno, actually. Uh, I'm giving Youth and Revolt three and a half stars out of four. I'm Kyle Smith, film critic for the New York Post.